Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah, country guys from California. Before I begin, in all praise, it's the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement, Yahweh Shai. Prayer to the Most High blesses this lesson this afternoon. Gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of things that are soon to come on the earth. Saw so this earlier today and I wanted to bring it to your guys' attention. Breaking U.S. debt exceeds GDP for the first time since World War II. 60 million to go hungry by 20. 21. As you um, might know from the last video I did about Franklin Graham asking for four more years because he knows a storm is coming. Well, hate to break it to you, Franklin. It's already here. That hurricane is already here. And I'm sitting there looking at the stock market going up 500 points. And it's kind of like, wow, how is that even possible? Based off of what? Well, see, they got to give you something good to think about, good to feel, you know, something to feel good about. But it's not going to work out for you. It's not going to work out at all. And this is already showing you that it's already, uh, it's, it's horrible. Look about next year, 60 million to go hungry by 2021. And that's huge of the U.S. debt. There's more debt than money coming in. Now the government's like the vast majority of the households have been for, you know, for the for us forever, you know. But now the government's looking just like, you know, the citizens now. Too much debt and not enough money coming in. Let's just this one little part here. They would add exorbitant shipping costs onto the cost of the item, and some people could afford to buy these. Nine to eleven dollar watermelons, eight dollars for a pound of grapes. But now, with sixty million people facing extreme financial hardship, and that number going up every single day because businesses, large corporations, they are shuttering their doors in full force. No one can afford to or is purchasing these extreme prices. The supply chain is broken. The cost to ship what is available to where it's needed is not worth it for any restaurant or any grocery chain. The other choice is for the government to completely take over the harvest to table process. And that is what is happening right now. 60 million is such an enormous number that it can't even be realized. That's one out of 2.5 of all American able-bodied, employable people. They can't find work that will sustain their household. Can they find work that pays for that day's food? In many cases, sure. But the same work won't also pay for their shelter or their water and power. And so they're forced to choose. The purchasing power is gone. And soon either the grocery stores will adapt to lower their costs through government subsidy or the government will be forced to give a universal, a universal basic income for food and housing. That warning is coming from one economist who is warning on what is coming. Imagine the government needing to give money every month to every citizen for housing and food. We are this close, he says, to that happening right now. More proof of what is happening, the U.S. government debt is on track to exceed the size of the economy for the first for the 12 months ending in September, a crisis event that has not been seen since World War II. To largely in response to the enormous financial response necessary to keep people inside of their homes and to keep them fed during this collapse. The Congressional Budget Office is expected to report uh, today that federal debt held by the public is projected to reach or exceed 100% of the U.S. gross domestic product. I like that. Federal debt held by the public. By you. It's your debt. The broadcast me uh, broadest measure of the U.S. economic output. That would put the U.S. in the company of just a handful of nations with their debt exceeding their economies, including Japan, Italy, and Greece. By another measure, the U.S. passed this mark already back in the April to June quarter. That's when government spending surged as they tried to combat the new uh, crisis that was emerging and tax revenue plunged. 
but this would be the first time in more than 70 years for it to do so for the federal government's full fiscal year. The economy contracted sharply in the second quarter. The decline. Okay. First time for a whole year, the debt has exceeded GDP. The debt has exceeded the money coming in. And that led up to <clears throat> what is it, around World War II. Okay. So as the economy is pretty much, you know, in shambles, or like war is, is on, the, on the horizon. So just like I was talking about before, when they find out who we are, that will be, you know, the ending of this prosperity time for them and the beginning of war. And as you can tell, we're right there. When the most high is ready to, you know, expose to the world who we are, there's going to be a whole lot of people who are going to be upset. There's going to be a whole lot of people who are going to be surprised. I think that's absolutely huge. That's why I wanted to bring that to you guys. But the U.S. debt exceeds GDP. He said, now they're running a deficit. Been running a deficit. You know, I said, but this shows you where we're at. And, you know, I remember Franklin Graham asking for the four more years with, you know, Trump so they could, you know, I don't know what he's trying to do in four more years if they haven't already accomplished in the last 500 plus. They've already raped, robbed, killed, murdered our people. They had all their, their fun times. You know, doing all that stuff to our people, our lands, enjoying our beautiful lands. They've had, you know, they've had it for 500, but that's, but that's just like them to ask for more, right? They don't even admit what they've done to our people. They don't even admit what they've done to the most highest chosen people, but they're asking for more time anyways. That's why this system's got to go. That's why these people got to go. And that's why the most high already said it. He already prophesied what's going to happen. And it's, he's already starting to fulfill his uh, his prophecies and his promises to his people. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.